first item was the Crime and Criminal Tracking Network and Systems, CCTNS. The implementation of this project is underway. It was originally scheduled to be completed by 31st March 2012, but in view of the requests of state governments and the uneven progress in different states, CCTNS has agreed to extend the period for completion of the project up to 31st March 2015. Now, the extension of three years does not mean that the bulk of the project will not be completed before that. There will be different dates on which the project will get completed in the different states. Now, so far, rupees 418 crore has been released to the states. 4.54 lakh personnel have been trained. Capacity building infrastructure has been completed in 861 units out of a target of 902 units. 17 states UTs have signed letters of intent or contracts with the, for the selection of the system integrator. 31 states had issued the RFPs. Therefore, having regard to the uneven progress in different states, the time has been extended, but we are confident that the major states and most of the states would roll out CCTNS well before the revised date. 22 additional districts uh, have been qualified. They will be added to the list of 250 districts. And then four more districts are being included under the Integrated Action Plan for the Naxal areas. These are Chindwara and Singrauli districts of Madhya Pradesh and Sitamari and West Champaran districts of Bihar. So 22 additional districts to the list of 250 BRGF districts for the current year and four additional districts under IAP, making that a total of 82 districts under IAP.